Hello. Now in this video, I will do an additional discussion about the last case that we have, or you can also call it a revision. And the revision is not big, but I think it's it will give us another insight regarding the case. Okay, so previously we have this data. We have four steps. The first three steps include flowing period and shut in periods of nine hours. And we have the last period, last step, which include 36 hours of flowing period and 24 hours for shut in. And we plot all the four data. All right. And then we get, we do the trend lining using those four data. And from that, you can see. We arrange and we get the A parameter and B parameter. And from that, we calculate the absolute open flow or the maximum flow rate. And from the absolute open flow and static bottom hole pressure, we create the IPR, inflow performance relationship, right? That's our first approach. Now I will show you the second approach. And I think it's a little bit more preferable. And the approach is like this. So we can distinguish or we can differentiate the first three steps with the last step. Okay, the first three steps include flowing period of nine hours and shut-in period of nine hours. We can regard these steps as transient flow. Okay, so maybe I can add remark something like this. All right, and then I can call it flow regime. Okay, I will just assume, and I can regard the first step as transient flow, and then also transient because the flow period and the shut-in period are quite short. And the last one is the pseudo steady state. So the steady state, okay? Okay, by assuming this, the, 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 the best approach is you need to calculate the time to pseudo steady state flow regime. What is the time that is required to achieve or to reach pseudo steady state? That's the best, the most prudent approach. But let's say we can assume that the first three steps are transient flow, transient steps, and the last step is pseudo steady state step. All right, in that case, I will only use the, the three flow periods, the, the three steps to do the trend lining. Okay, so like this, I will do this one. So you see, the slope will be different. The slope will be changed, all right? If I, Control Z, the slope will be different. The equation will be different. If I redo, all right, the slope will be different, although the equation will not be that significant here. So the slope is 0 0.08832. So let's right click. Format trend line, display equation. All right, you see? Or maybe I can control Z first. So this is our original equation. All right, or our original equation. And now I want to do the trend lining using only the three data. Okay, the transient data. So I right click, format trend line, and Now the slope is 0 0.0654. Okay, you got that. All right. And as such, we input, we can copy and paste here as our backup value. And I will use this one, 0 0.0654. Set to five four. 
All right. And then I will add select data. I will call it transient. And then I will add PSS, pseudo steady state. The X value is the flow rate, this one. And the Y value is the this one. So this is my pseudo steady state flow period, pseudo steady state data, I mean. And then we create a parallel line like this, mimicking the slope. Say I want to make it quite long. So they have the same slope. And then I put this line on my pseudo steady state data. So here, from this, we can assume or we can predict the this one, the intercept, intercept to the y axis, the vertical axis. All right. And we can also get the intercept from this equation. Okay. So we maintain the slope and we calculate this one. So K11, K11, this one, all right, minus the slope multiplied by this one, the flow rate, 13,000. And we get the data here, the intercept. I will use star. So this is our intercept. And we already get the value. Let me do right click. And we know that the intercept is calculated and the value is 1034. Okay. So again, I will do what if analysis. I will do what if analysis goal seek. Set cell this one to value of this one, okay? Let's check this one first, All right? Use this one. Now use the new intercept and the new slope. So we do the what if analysis goal seek. I will set value this to value of 14, 48 million. 057205 by changing cell this one. Okay, now it's computed. It's quite long. Now it's quite tricky. Okay, so what happened? Oh, now it's crash. It's crash. That's okay. Control Z first. So let us do manually 21,000. So already close. And then let's do 21,100. Okay, it's too high. 21,050. Already close. 30, all right, too small, 35, almost 4.5, and then one, or maybe seven. Okay, it's now nine, hmm, okay. too high yeah sometimes we do this because the iteration fails now nah, this one okay now i know the okay too high all right yeah we can we can say that this one is already good almost match you can also test again using the goal seek this one 5708 
this one or maybe sorry sorry i did a mistake yeah i did a mistake sorry this one this 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 cell should be the set cell this one okay to value 50 million 708 four to six by changing this one so this is the thing that i need to do previously all right now we get the correct absolute open flow all right those cells are are the same and the absolute open flow now is correct all right so this is the this is the best approach compared to the previous approach so we do the trend lining using the transient period and then we got this intercept from the pseudo steady state or the longest period longest shading and flowing period all right so this is the best approach so we get better absolute open flow this is more representative as the absolute open flow although the the nominal the the, the value is quite close with the previous approach okay and this is the IPR curve. All right. Okay. So we conclude this, this case. We do two approaches. The first one is we use four data to do the trend lining. And then, yeah, we calculate the A, B, the slope, intercept, and calculate the absolute open flow and create the IPR. And the next approach, the second approach, we do the trend lining. We do the regression using three transient data. And then we calculate or predict the intercept using the pseudo steady state data. And again, we calculate the intercept or the slope. From that, we calculate the absolute open flow and we construct the IPR curve. Right, so that's the second approach. And let's say something happened in this reservoir, in this well. And what happened? We will discuss that in the next video. All right, thank you.